The adjustments to Zach Makovsky's fighting gloves have been made. He is ready to roll. Ladies and gentlemen here, Bellator 41 on MTV2 from Coco Pa Resort Casino. Everlast Greatness is within now presents three five minute rounds in the bantamweight division. The first non-title super fight of the evening. And now introducing out of the red corner at five foot four, he weighed in at 134 and one quarter pounds. The undefeated professional at 11 and 0 fights out of the Woodlands, Texas. Introducing Chad Robo Robo Show. And across the cage, his adversary fighting out of the blue corner at five foot four, weighing in at 135 and one half pounds. Tonight, he brings 12 victories with only two defeats from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He is the reigning Bellator Bantamweight World Champion, Zach Funsize Makovsky. The referee in charge of the action, Jason Herzog. This Bellator super fight in the featherweight division, non-title. Chad Robichaux, 11 and 0 with 10 submissions in his Bellator debut versus Bellator's 135 pound world champion, Zach Makovsky, round number one. Tonight's Bellator fight clock is sponsored by Dylan Dog, Dead of Night in theaters, April 29th. Chad Robichaux is in the yellow trunks. Zach Makovsky is in the black trunks. Kick by Robichaux, going for a guillotine immediately on Zach Makovsky. Yeah, but very hard to do with no guard. Like I always say, no guard, no guillotine. Have to have at least half guard. Can't really finish it from here. Makovsky coming out in that southpaw stance. That's great for a wrestler, because that's a wrestler's power leg. If they can learn to box southpaw, they can box and take down from the same stance. That's very key. Because this super fight is non-title, it is scheduled for three five-minute rounds. We are under the unified rules of MMA, so elbows to the, how, uh, to the head are allowed, both standing and on the ground. The reason I was making that joke about uh, Makovsky being laid back in front of Philadelphia. We actually saw in our hotel when Eddie Alvarez fought two of his fans getting a fight over who had the better seats. So I'm really surprised Zach Makovsky being as laid back as he is, is from Philly. I think he's from Shawnee, Kansas like me. He just missed <laughs> that to sound cool. It's friendly and nice. And the Robichaux crowd is holding position. The crowd not loving this. Oh, well, it's not a lot to love. Robichaux's Trapping that arm. Zach Makovsky's not improving at all. Again, Robichaux is a submission fighter. A perfect 11 0 with 10 submission wins. And eight of those in the first round. Makovsky now inside control. His advantage on the ground, he has great submissions, great wrestling, but man, he's just a physical beast. So strong, so explosive. Strength and conditioning coach at Drexel University. And he wrestled there at the NCAA Division I level. Makovsky 12 and 2, but as I mentioned earlier, he is perfect. 12 and 0 at this weight, 135 pounds. Good left, left hand. hand. You know, like, you know, he fought Ed West, who has a, a very slick and dangerous ground game, but he just couldn't deal with the explosiveness of Zach Makovsky. It's been a problem for his opponents this entire time. Robichaux at 135. Looking to spin, lost his balance. Stuff on the shot there, and there's the big takedown. Takedown slash uh, cartwheel. Robichaux, so agile, so athletic. He's agile, man. Makovsky just pulled a uh, cartwheel with a double leg. I don't think I've ever seen that. Robichaux fighting off the single leg, knee to the body by Makovsky. Good turn by Makovsky. And a knee to the body, that was effective. And here's where he's looked so good, he's on top. But Robichaux doing a good job of getting back to his feet. <laughs> Referee Jason Herzog doing his usual excellent job, letting the action flow. A kick by Robichaux, deftly blocked by Makovsky. Robichaux trying to walk down his opponent. Step in left hand by Makovsky. Looks like they're going to try and stand a little bit. They kind of neutralize each other on the ground. Makovsky going for the outside trip, couldn't find it. 
Robichaux going for a lot of unorthodox techniques. Oh, good left hand by Makovsky. Makovsky trying to turn. Oh, great pass. Beautiful into side control for Zach Makovsky. That's one big difference between traditional jiu-jitsu and the jiu-jitsu in MMA. Guard is extremely useful in jiu-jitsu. Competition jiu-jitsu, guys get world titles based on their guard, but it's very hard to use in MMA. You see Zach Makovsky trying to set up the Kimura here. Robichaux up and on his feet again. How agile and athletic are these two fighters? Knee by Robichaux. Right hand by Robichaux, then misses with the left. Bouncing the step of the champion, Zach Makovsky. Makovsky's hands very low. Not in a good defensive position. His hands really low. He relies a lot on his physical speed. Take down again by Makovsky. Robichaux immediately trying to grab the guillotine and cinch it in. He's passed his guard. That is not going to work on a guy like Zach Makovsky. Closing seconds of a very, very entertaining round number one in this super fight. Eight tours of duty in Afghanistan for former Force Recon Marine Chad Robichaux. Round number two. Robichaux is a proud volunteer of the nonprofit organization Soldiers Angels, and they are having a Bellator watch party tonight in San Antonio, Texas. A welcome to all of them watching live on MTV2. Well, Robichaux came back from Afghanistan with post-traumatic stress disorder. He said, jiu-jitsu saved me. Fighting really gave me balance. And that was my therapy. I think everybody in jiu-jitsu should be proud of that. Jimmy on your scorecard. 10-9, oh, Zach Mikoski thought he controlled that first round. Good takedowns, landed a couple of good left hands. Not a dominant round, but 10-9. Zach Mikoski with the takedown. You see how, he, see how he flips over the guard after that takedown? He gets the double leg, but he flips his leg over, so it's hard for Robichaux to get the guard. Robichaux in his Bellator debut is in the yellow trunks, and Mikowski, the champion, is in the black trunks. Again, this is the first fight, albeit non-title, but the first fight for Zach Mikowski since winning the vacant 135-pound Bellator world title. Of course, he defeated Ed West in the inaugural tournament in this weight class back in season three. That was in October. You see the, what we call twister side control. His right knee on the bottom up against the hip, and it's, and it's easy to step over into the mount. Full mount, and Mikowski letting go with the hands. As I was about to say, and he steps over in the mount. Hammer fist now with the left by Mikovsky. I don't know how deep that arm is. He might have the choke. Going for the rear naked choke and looking to finish as Mikovsky. It's yeah, underneath the chin. I think he's got it. If he keeps the pressure on, this could be it. And Rubber Show slips out. Big ovation from the crowd here at Coco Park Casino for Chad Robichaux on that submission escape. Sight control, though, held by Mikovsky. Man, that is, serious, head, that is serious guts and technique. Nine out of ten fighters would not have gotten out of that position against Zach Mikovsky. Robichaux just worn by referee Jason Herzog. Elbows to the back of Mikovsky's head. Not intentional. Robichaux just trying to throw from flat on his back just like that. Blindly throwing there. Mikovsky. Looking for a spinning arm bar. Sliding the knee on the, the belly. But once again, so explosive, so good at transitioning into positions and out of them again. Kick by Mikovsky. Seeing things going his way here in round number two. Good step in left by the champion, Zach Mikovsky. Man, he just passes that guard so easily, right into side control. Trapping the arm. If you can trap the, see how he has his, his Robichaux's left leg trapped. You can trap the other way and get a crucifix. Mikovsky working for a crucifix from side control. Couldn't get it. Still has side control. That's a big shot. Almost a forearm smash there. Not an elbow, not a punch. You see, as this fight is wearing on, Mikovsky wearing Robichaux down. That's what he is so good at. He keeps up the intensity. That's great gas. It's hard to keep up with him. Mikovsky was in a belly-to-back suplex position. Robichaux down. Turtling down, now Mikovsky trying to get one hook in. Two minutes, Jack. Two minutes. Let's go. Good defense by Robichaux. Mikovsky not getting any hooks in, but flat on his back. Now going for the head and arm position. Robichaux trying to defend. That is tight. Now it's hard to finish if your opponent has that hand against his head, but Mikovsky's strong enough to do it. Head and arm choke attempt for Zach Mikovsky looking to finish here. 
latter stages of round number two. Robichaud trying to escape, but man, Zach Makovsky's so powerful, and he gives it up. Robichaud escapes again. Two big submission escapes in round number two for Chad Robichaud. Robichaud still moving forward, still trying to attack. Robichaud coming straight forward, big knee by Makovsky. Man, he is letting it all hang out at the end of this round. Makovsky going for a single leg and a slam. Blood on the left shoulder of Zach Minkowski, and that's certainly that's not his own blood. I believe it's coming from the nostrils of Chad Robichaud. I think that aggression is partly out of frustration. He knows he's down at least in this round, if not the first two. He's got to turn this fight around, but the problem is that flailing at someone like Zach Makovsky, he's so good, so powerful, he'll take you down every time. More forearm shots there by Makovsky. Those aren't elbows, those are forearm shots. Short forearms. Blood definitely flowing freely out of the right nostril of Chad Robichaud's nose. Unfettered shots now from Makovsky. Up kick, that's illegal. That was illegal, and Robichaud apologizes immediately. Makovsky was a grounded opponent there, he had a knee down. Ready? Ready? Good refereeing by Jason Herzog, he said, I know it was an accident, let's keep going. Herzog didn't call time. Big round for Makovsky. Over here. Over here we see the up kick at the end of the second round. Right here, that right leg right across the face. You're not allowed to kick or knee an opponent to the head when they're down, when they have anything but their feet on the ground. And obviously he was on his knees, but a lot of times you were throwing your legs up for a triangle, a submission, a lot of stuff like that happens into our third and final round of this Bellator Super fight in the featherweight division. Jimmy, on your scorecard. I have a two rounds to none for Zach Makovsky. 10-9 both rounds, 18 to 20. Chad Robichaud entering 11-0 with 10 submissions, eight in the first round, making his Bellator debut. He is in the yellow trunks. Zach Makovsky, his first fight since becoming Bellator's first ever featherweight world champion. He's in the black trunks. Spinning back fist missed there by Robichaud. Makovsky right back. <laughs> Robichaud laughed. Both guys trying some funky techniques here. We talked about what a nice guy Makovsky is. You can say the same for Robichaud. That's a problem with those funky techniques. They leave you wide open. Two very sporting fighters, Jimmy. But here's where Zach has been so dominant. He's been so good at not ending up in the guard of Robichaud, either half guard or full guard. And right here, back to that twister side control again. Robichaud, very candidly, and I wouldn't talk about this normally, but he wanted to talk about this, suffered from post-traumatic stress disorder. We mentioned in the Marines, Force Recon, eight tours of duty in Afghanistan. He said quite simply, jujitsu, MMA, has changed his life, in effect, saved his life. Zach Mikofsky putting a lot of pressure on him now. He said in the pre-fight interview, this is not a wrestling match, but Zach Mikowski has excellent jiu-jitsu. He doesn't take you down, he doesn't lay and pray. He goes after you. Mikowski trains Brazilian jiu-jitsu with none other than Wilson Hayes, who we will see in our next fight. Featherweight tournament, semifinal number two. He actually got beaten by Wilson Hayes. They became friends, start training with him and trying to finish this fight now. He's got to move or this fight's going to get stopped. Those are huge shots from Mikowski. I think this is over. Jason Herzog taking a really close look, and there is it. Third round TKO win for Zach Mikowski, the champion victorious. Oh, his first TKO victory, not only in Bellator, but it is in, in his entire career. Great job by Zach Mikowski. Still getting better as a fighter. Very impressive win. And Mikofsky it against absolutely him. letting go with the left hands there. And against an undefeated fighter. Chad Robichaud, an excellent fighter, and he finished him. Beautiful job in that third round. Let's see if we can get a look at it. Started with taking the back, putting his hips in. Robichaud had gotten out of a few submissions, so he wasn't going to waste his time with any more of that. He said, I'm going to get position and turn it on with the strikes. That's exactly what he did. A true championship performance for Bellator's 135-pound world champion, Zach Makovsky. He is victorious.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Jason Herzog waves off this contest due to strikes officially 2-0-2 into round number three. The winner by TKO, Zach Funsize Makovsky. The winner by way of third round TKO, Zach Makovsky defeats Chad Robichaux.